If you're the kind of lawyer who writes only one kind of thing to only one kind of audience to accomplish just one kind of goal, well, you're either very lucky or you're very bored, maybe both. Most lawyers find themselves writing a variety of things, everything from formal court pleadings to memos to letters, email, even God save us tweets. And most lawyers find that the people they're writing to, some of them are colleagues, some of them are strangers, some are experts, some are total novices, supervisors and supervisees, co-counsel and adversaries, in-house and outhouse. So do you really think that there's only one way to write all the things you write? One choice about what to include or leave out? One way to organize what you do decide to include? One level of appropriate detail? One right choice for uh, technical terms, for acronyms? One choice for your overall tone? Let me invite you to rethink those assumptions and a few others as well. Hi, I'm Rick Horowitz, and I'm the discussion leader, not the lecturer, please, for a monthly CLE course at the DC Bar called More Effective Writing Makes More Effective Lawyers. Maybe you're visiting the website because you're already sensing that there has to be an alternative to one size fits all legal writing, let alone writing that uh, confuses, bores, even repels the very people you're trying to reach. You're right. You almost certainly have more flexibility than you think you do. But how much information is too much information? And how informal is too informal? Am I even asking myself the right questions? Well, you are now, so let's talk about it. Why not join me for two half-day sessions that'll help you make the right calls, even some new calls, for the various writing tasks you're tackling. We're online these days, but we've tweaked the program to get the best from Zoom and to keep things highly interactive, highly conversational. After all, you've all had experiences as lawyer writers. Let's share them. Somebody else's uh, escape plan from some writing dead end may be just the tip that'll work for you and vice versa. So let's talk about that too. At a minimum, you'll know you're not the only one going through what you're going through. And there's something to be said for that. But we won't stop there. It's more than misery loves company. You'll come away from our sessions, our discussions with new tools, new strategies, new ways to think about your legal writing, and new confidence, justified confidence. Could you use some of that right about now? I hope to see you soon. Thanks.